Yeah, I think it was rock and roll and funk and really cool. The makeup is a veil of beauty on, on each girl. We treat each girl very individual. We keep the hair just a gorgeous bow man, rich, shiny, slightly mussed up, lived in, expensive girl that she is. But we're just making these girls look gorgeous. It's not, it's not difficult, is it? If there's yet another 70s moment in fashion this season, Bauman has opted for the punk side of the decade, but it can't get away from the glam. It was something that very different from what everyone is doing this season, so in a way it was kind of a, a shock. I was expecting to see some little mini dresses and some gowns, which we sell extremely well, but to be fair, anything with the Bauman label continues to fly. He flipped it around, made it a little rough, gave another alternative to these girls like me who like a little rock and roll with their looks. I thought this was a really interesting tribute to Midwest America and Dallas and Texas and California. I was thinking Confederate rock chic. It was a little bit more punk than just the very Belma rock and roll. It had a little more hardcore in it. A lot of fun, a lot of sex, a lot of danger. The biker jackets are great but they've got a little bit more detail than last year with the studding. You better watch if you're close by one of those jackets with all those uh, pins and studs. I mean, I'd rather be careful touching one of those legs, but amazing, actually. Probably one of those jackets cost more than 25 punks made in their lifetime. I thought it was quite cool that they had basically $10,000 shorts with holy tights. I remember my punk days when people wore a bit of toast around their neck and stuff like that, so it wasn't that kind of punk. It was very much couture punk. Bowman toast. <laughs> Bowman toast, yeah.